Manchester United. I don't know what to say, boys. I Honestly, I, I was talking to KJ about half an hour ago. He said he's looking forward to the show. I love my job. I love talking to you, boys. But I was dreading. I was hoping the news was going to have come out before we went live. Because I thought it would mm. dampen down my cooking. But he's still at the club. A meeting is currently ongoing in London between all of our senior execs. There are some reports say that he'll go. There are others that say he may stay until the next international break. LB, what's going on, brother? Uh, well, what should be going on is that he should be getting fired. I mean, I hope, and I saw Potsy hope, so I'm sure everyone who's not a United fan in the chat hopes that he doesn't get fired. But he should be getting fired because what we're seeing, what we're witnessing from Man United right now is, is shambolic. The performances are horrific. Um you know, you draw nil-nil in one of the worst games of the season. You have one shot on target against Aston Villa and the guy comes out and says how great it is that you're keeping clean sheets. I mean, he's just an absolute joke. The guy's an absolute joker. Yeah, <laughs> You don't know what he's talking about. I just don't really don't know what he's talking about. He needs to be fired. I hope he doesn't because he's taken... I mean, you're 14th. You finished 8th last year. And there's still some United fans out there that want this guy as the manager. I don't know what's going on with these United fans that want him as the manager, man. I big up to all of you, yeah, because like I, I respect it in it, and like like I say, I want Ten Hag to stay, but I don't, I don't know how on earth when your club's fourteenth, when you finished eighth last year, yeah. What's this your worst start in? What is this your worst start? In, is it 50, 14 Pre years? It, 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 I think worst start in Premier League history. I'm not too sure about. A, a oh, pre -Premier okay, League worst League. start in Premier League history, and you're still backing him, bro. You know, you bought you bought Agate who's early days, but doesn't look doesn't look like he's gonna do much. Dilitz looking uh, a bit 50-50, don't even play him sometimes. You know, he's still got Ant in there who's just hilarious to watch. You know what I mean, like I, I, don't, I, just, I can't believe he's still here. I, I, I he should have been sat a long time ago. So yeah, I think they'll sack him because I, I'm 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 giving the guys credit and I think they have brain cells. But um maybe they'll give him one more month. Maybe they'll give him one more month and say you've got until November. If you don't turn it around, you're gone. Uh, I don't. I don't know. But if it would have been me, I would have sat this guy eighteen months ago. Yeah, I think they're. Uh, I think they're holding on to him, aren't they? I think we would have been told by now if he'd have been sacked. I mean, if there's a meeting going on, how long's this meeting? Normally, it's pack your bags, off you go, and we announce it. If it's taking longer than that, it looks like he's going to be given an ultimatum of you need to get this amount of results in the next few weeks. Um, look, I'm with LB. I can't believe he's still here. Um, Terry's obviously really happy because he's an Arsenal fan, so he wants Ten Hag to stay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, it's you, me look, up, thanks. Yeah. So, look, I, I honestly can't believe he's still here. I think he's been poor. I don't see a style of play in three seasons. The things that's kept him here is trophies, and trophies is what matters in football. The one thing I will say is competing and winning trophies is definitely the two things that you need, right? Because otherwise, you just be an Everton and go, oh, my God, we won a trophy. Now to keep the manager and give him a statue. Manchester United are not, are not that team. Manchester United should be at the very top. They're one of the greatest clubs. They're still one of the biggest clubs. They just don't act like a big club. And I think the new structure has got to now bring that back. The first thing they need to do is get rid of this guy. And if they get rid of this guy and they bring in Rude to the interim and they go and get a Ruben Amarim, cool. But it looks like they want to go and get a manager from what we're hearing. Thomas Tuchel being mentioned as well was one that they're looking at potentially. I think they need somebody like that with a CV that says, look, I can take a team and I can do this with it. Ruben Amarim, a little bit of a different one, more of an Arteta type thing, although obviously he's managed before Arteta did at a good level. Um, I think he has a style of football that's clear. I think he's definitely improved some of the talent over at Sport in Lisbon and competed. Um, but whether or not people want him or not, you need to get rid of this guy. He has been awful. And he's had everything that he needs. We come on here week in, week out, and we say he's had the money, he's had the players, he's had everything his own way. He has been given one thing that most managers don't get these this time around, time. Three seasons, still no style of play, Agreed. no improved results. When you buy that many defenders and your best defender is Johnny Evans, there's problems. Yeah. So, oh, it's facts. You, you know, I've got I've got the things up here, yeah. So this is according to transfer marked, right? So don't cut me if it's wrong. Since he's been at United, he's signed 21 players um, and a total expenditure of 660 million euros. That's transfer mark data, not my, my, my information. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm not being funny, right? This is the third season. Man United should be title contenders. If you lose your next two games, you, you might, you'll be in a relegation battle after yeah, nine mate, matches. Mate, you're so spot on. You, you, both of you are in that. Well, but can hurt. I ask you a question then? Can I, let me ask you a question on, then, on, 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 Why is there still United fans out there that are still backing so, in there? What's going so on here? Something's going let, on, let, man. Let, let, let me just add to that as well, Terry, because yeah. I, I totally agree. that, that, that For me... 
I do not understand why Manchester United fans are not all on the same page now, uniting together. It makes no sense to me whatsoever that there are still fans suggesting this guy can actually take you forward and win, get you into winning titles. There is no evidence to prove that. And there's in, the infighting between fans is, is mad to me. I don't get it. So, yeah, a great question from both of you. So there's, I think there's a few things to discuss. Before we get onto Ineos and why he's still here, the fans. What I find hilarious is the two groups of fans that are really positive about him staying and really positive about him, uh, neg uh, really forceful in him going. Uh, uh, typically speaking, the two groups who for every single manager have either been completely in or completely out of that individual. And they just switch. They sort of switch like this each time. It's a different guy, whether they like him or they don't. But both those groups have been completely wrong every single fucking time. It's been a manager in manager out debate. It's all about how we're, sacking the manager was never going to fix us by itself. Sacking Ten Hag now doesn't fix Man United without a longer term plan, without being ruthless at the highest level and over a period of time building a very competent, highly technical, very motivated squad. And I think that too many Man United fans focus on the low hanging fruit of sack the manager. There's, there's, there's an element of keep a manager if you see progression. I can understand that. Tuchel did an interview, I don't know when it was from, but I saw a clip today where he said that everybody talks about football is about a process and your performances and the quality of football. But he sort of laughed and said, my experience having been at, at Bayern Munich, Chelsea, Dortmund, Mainz, he went, results matter more than... It, the cold, hard light of day, when you're brought into an office and told you're going to be sacked, or you're brought into an office and told you're getting a new deal, it's the results they all talk to you about as opposed to the performance. He said, but the performances are underlying good. But I understand saying stick with Ten Hag if we're not winning, but the performances are there. I There's logic in that. I understand sacking a manager if you, and being so passionate about it and talking about this squad's good enough to compete and go to the top. I understand being so focused on that if we have a really good squad and we're in a good space. But I still think both groups... I'm missing the point that it's going to take years to fix us still. That, that's the bit that I find funny is they're not really focused on the true problem still after 11 years. I don't get why people are backing him. That question, LB, I cannot fathom. I think what we now see on social media is like the battle of ideologies. It's I'm so desperate to be right. I'm just going to die on this hill. And it's not just my club. All fan bases do it. And I don't like either group in terms of surely you've got to be more balanced as a human being than this. And, it, and it's staggering to me why he's still getting, I had a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, who's a season ticket holder, sent me a long message. I haven't even read half of it yet. Full support of him today. I read about a third of it and I'm just like, I ain't got the time, Sid. I'm going to read it. I, you're probably watching, bro. And I don't mean it rudely. I'm going to watch, I'm going to read it properly later and digest it. But my initial thoughts when he said to me, I still think we, we, we're doing it too early. I'm like, bro, I know once in our history, that our fans wanted a manager sacked and we kept Fergie and he went on to do greatness. But I'm like, bro, I think that's the, that's, that's the exception to the rule. Yeah. Did you get uh, where I'm coming from? Yeah, I no, even, just, um, and I think for me, it's, it's we we I saw someone tweet the other day. Arteta is causing problems to Man United indirectly. He hasn't won a major trophy yet since his team's been playing well. Right. But it looks like he might. So everybody has this stick with him, stick with the process, stick with the process. It will work. I think that, again, I think Arteta might be an anomaly. How many other times as a manager with the experience of Ten Hag, been at a big club, been given this amount of money, and we'll base that money on, you can sort of use inflation because no one was spending that amount of money 10, 20, 30 years ago, struggled in the first three, three and a half years, but then gone on to be a resounding, consistent success I don't know who, when, no one can show me the, the examples of this. And that's exactly what I was saying at the end of last season. It wasn't just about winning the trophy. So the infight in there is crazy. When it comes to Man United decision-making, and I know we said backstage, people have a real problem with hope nowadays. Like I, I get, people seem to want to cook you for having hope in something, hoping that it works out, hoping that it's a good thing you're doing. It, it seems to be weird that people are calling you out for hope. I don't quite get where that's come from. But why I'm hoping this meeting is taking so long is I hope they're not discussing whether we should or shouldn't be sacking Ten Hag. I hope what's being discussed is these are the four or five candidates. This is who we've reached out to. This is their plans. This is how long it would take to get them in. This would be the compensation packages. Who are we just... I hope they're deciding on what the next steps are as opposed to should we keep him or get rid of him. That would make sense why they're taking their time because what I want to see is the manager gone at 5 p.m. 
And by 9 a.m. next morning, I'd love, I'd love to see us announce a new manager. I would like to see a very quick turnaround. So the hope in me is that's why this meeting is taking so long. But I do have a horrible gut feeling, and I'm hoping this is a bit of PTSD. I'm hoping this is a little bit of just worry and anxiety, is that they are genuinely discussing the idea of keeping him longer and giving him a few more games to turn it around. And the reason why that worries me is we have hired some very capable individuals that have had very good CVs and very good words have been said about them. Every underlying number, every underlying metric, every story that comes out, there, there is, I don't see where the hope is. I don't see where the, the beacon of hope, the, brining, the, 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 the bright light in the distance that you can head towards, the horizon, where is it? No one is, and that's the one thing I say about all the people still backing him. Don't quote Fergie. Don't quote Arteta because this isn't the same. Show, by the way, when the likes of the, the late, great Sir Bobby Cholton were backing Fergie in that period, it's all documented. It's all out there. They were talking about, look at all the great work he's doing behind the scenes, rebuilding the academy. He's building up this young squad. He's been getting rid of the drinking culture. He's, there was things he was doing that you could articulate was going to yield a return in the future. Where is that now? It doesn't exist. So, yeah, the backing of him is crazy. The infighting amongst Man United fans, stop it. Because both of you groups have been consistently wrong for 11 fucking years. So I don't... Watching them fight... Do you remember that thing that went viral years ago? Was it called bum fights? Where these guys would get two homeless people to fight on the street. Do you remember that? It was like a big trend when I was younger. This is what it's like watching the, the, the Ten Hag inners and outers fight. You man have been wrong about the sacking or keeping every fucking manager at this club in the last 11 years. And here you are, still battling over a fouled ideology that the manager is the most important part of a football club. Whether you want him in or out, he isn't. It's bigger than that. Wake up and smell the coffee. And fingers crossed, Ineos are going to do the right thing in the next few hours and, and dismiss this man because I don't hate him. I don't have a bad word to say about the guy in reality because it isn't personal for me. What it is, I want to see my club improve. I think we're doing good things behind the scenes, but we are rud The coaching is awful. The, the basics of my team, LB, Dan, I look yeah, at your two well, teams. Uh, I look at your two teams and it makes me so angry that how well you pass the ball, how easily you find it. I look at my team and it, it's like they've never played fucking football. It's mad. Yeah.